everyone, welcome back to Simply Innovation. In this video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step -step tutorial on how to publish sensor readings from BBC Microbit to Qubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. Qubitro is the fastest way to build IoT applications with predictable pricing, developer-friendly features, and scalability you will love. You can connect your hardware to Qubitro, collect the data, and create data visualization on your own dashboard. For more information about Kubitro, you can check on its official site, kubitro.com. I'm gonna use the BBC Microbit V2. It's a pocket-sized microcontroller based on 32-bit ARM Cortex-M4. It's equipped with Bluetooth Low Energy, radio antenna, 5x5 LED matrix, two buttons, MEMS microphone, speaker, and several built-in sensors like touch sensor, light, accelerometer, magnetometer, and temperature sensor. For more information about BBC Microbit, you can check on its official site, microbit.org. By default, Microbit doesn't have an internet connectivity feature. So in order to connect my Microbit to the internet, I will use Groove Wi-Fi 8266 module by Cytron Technologies. It's based on ESP12F module and comes preloaded with the new Espressive ESP80 firmware version 2.2. Also, I will use the Groove Shield for Microbit V2 by Seed Studio, so I can connect my Groove Wi-Fi 8266 to the Microbit. The shield has 4 Groove connectors, 8 edge connectors, and 4 mm banana plugs. On this tutorial, I will show you how to publish sensor readings from BBC Microbit V2 to Kubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. To program my Microbit, I will use Microsoft MakeCode Online Editor. It's the simplest way to program your BBC Microbit. Here, you can use block programming, JavaScript, or Python programming language. First, I will read Microbit's built-in temperature sensor, then make it as a JavaScript object notation or JSON string. Next, I'm gonna connect my Microbit to the internet through Wi-Fi, then publish the data to Qubitro MQTT broker. And finally, we will create charts for data visualization on Qubitro portal. So without any further ado, Let's get started. First, let's create a project on Kubitro. On kubitro.com homepage, click go to portal link and sign up or log in with your Kubitro account. Then create a new project and define your project's name and description. Click create project button. After that, let's create our device. Choose a connectivity method. In this case, I'll choose MQTT. Click continue and I'll enter my device information from device name, description, model, and location. Then click continue button. At this point, you will get your MQTT credentials to connect to Kubitro MQTT broker. Please take note of these values, host, port, username, password, and client ID, because we will use it on all code later. You can check these values on your device settings menu. The username and client ID are your Kubitro device ID, and the password is your Kubitro device token. Let's assemble the modules. Simply plug in the microbit to the shield, then connect the Groove Wi-Fi 8266 to the shield using Groove cable. I'll connect Groove Wi-Fi 8266 RX pin to P16 and its TX pin to P2. Connect microbit to the computer using micro USB cable. As simple as that. Now we are ready to code our microbit. Next, let's code our BBC microbit using Microsoft MakeCode. Open makecode.microbit.org, then create a new project. First, I will add ESP8266 extension. Click gear icon at the top, choose extensions, search for ESP8266, and install the IoT Environment Kit extension by Alec Freaks. Then you will see an additional ESP8266 IoT block inside the block toolbar where you can find some ESP8266 features. Inside the onStart block, I will show hard icon on 5x5 microbits LED matrix. Then set up the ESP8266, define the pins connection, Wi-Fi SSID, and its password where my ESP8266 will be connected to. Inside forever block, I'll define my MQTT credentials from Kubitro. The client ID, username, and topic are Kubitro device ID, while the password is Kubitro device token. 
Next, connect to Kubitro MQTT host, broker.kubitro.com at port 1883. Then publish the JSON string every 5 seconds. Finally, let's download the hex file and insert it to Microbit. Once done, Microbit will show hard icon on its 5x5 LED matrix. Connect to the Wi-Fi and publish the data to Kubitro every 5 seconds. Now, let's go back to Kubitro portal to see what happened. Go to your device section at Kubitro portal and you will see the data streams on data tab. The data comes from Vio terminal. Go to analytics tab where you can create charts for your data. To create a chart, simply just choose the variables that you want to be visualized. Choose its color and chart type, line chart, area, or bar column. This analytics tab only visualizes the data stream from specific device on your specific project. If you have more than one project or one device and you want to create a centralized data visualization, you can create your own dashboard on Kubitro. To create Kubitro dashboard, go to monitoring section, create new dashboard, click add widget button, give it a name, choose the origin project, device, and its type. There are a lot of widget types you can use in Kubitro. After that, click continue. Choose the variables that you want to be visualized. Repeat the same to create another widget. As simple as that. So that's the simple tutorial on how to publish sensor readings from BBC Microbit V2 to Kubitro IoT platform through MQTT protocol. I've shared this project on Microsoft Make Code. Link is on the description below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. See you on the next tutorial by Simple Innovation. Bye.